Hello and welcome to another maths tutorial supporting Open University students studying the module TM112 Introduction to Computing and Information Technology Part 2. This tutorial is about looking at a technique we have to use when we want to subtract two numbers away from each other by only adding. The techniques we're going to be looking at are tens complement and twos complement. From our first video we saw that from TM111 we were only interested in looking at whole numbers, whole positive numbers, our 8 bits forming a byte and things like that. We were just looking at whole numbers. They were called unsigned integers. But now we want to move on a little bit further and we saw from that uh, previous video that we can use the, the left hand bit or the highest bit, we can use that as what's called a sign bit and we can put in there either a naught or a one to represent a positive number or a negative number. The table on the right is the four bit table we had in that video and you can see minus seven is one, 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 one. The one says it's negative and the three ones uh, is binary representation, representation for seven. And next to it, you see zero, one, one, one. The zero says it's positive and the three ones again represents the, the number seven. So we can have a way in which we can represent negative numbers in binary format. But would it surprise you to know that when it comes to calculations, a computer cannot subtract? Basically, anything you're using, your, your phone as a calculator or the computer in front of you, you, you know, you're thinking you're subtracting, you think you are dividing. But in actual fact, all your computer is doing is adding and adding numbers together very, very quickly. Multiplication and addition, are hopefully, are easy enough to understand. Uh, addition, that's fairly simple, we hope. And multiplication is just a repetition of addition. So three times five is basically adding uh, three together five times or five together three times to get the answer 15. Division is a process of subtraction. So if I want to divide 12 by six, I would subtract six from 12 and count the number of times I do this. But of course, a computer cannot subtract. So we need to look at other techniques for doing that. Before we look at the way the computer does it, let's look at a way uh, in which we can utilize this technique in a number system we're a little bit more familiar with. And that is the decimal numbers, the deanery numbers, which we're used to counting every day. So the technique we're going to develop or use here is something called tens complement. Suppose you want to do a calculation 29 minus 12. And we're only going to do this by adding numbers together. Consider adding 100 to minus 12. That gives me 88. Let's add 29 and 88 together to get an answer 117. And now let's subtract the original 100 and I get the answer 17. So 29 minus 12 is 17. That's correct. But hang on a second. You know, we, you know I've said here we're, we're subtracting 12 from 100 uh, but we can't do this technique because basically a computer cannot subtract so we need to look at this technique in a little bit more detail so we're going to look at it in a slightly different way by only considering addition we're going to look at the number 12 that's the one we're going to be taking away remember and we're going to ask the question what do we need to add to each number to bring it up to the number nine for the two we're adding seven to it and for the eight, we're get, gonna add, uh, sorry, for the number one, we're gonna add eight to it. So this gives us a number 87. So this is effectively adding 99 to minus 12. So we're not subtracting minus 12 from nine, we're adding from the two and the one, we're adding numbers to it to get to nine. Okay, so we've got to the number nine, and this is what's called the nines complement of a number. And we're going to, we're only interested in what's called the tens complement. So to do this, we add one to the last digit. Okay, look back at the previous video and you'll understand this technique a little bit further. But basically here, we've found out that we've got the complementary number of minus 12 is 87 plus one, which is 88. Now 88 is the tens complement of minus 12. Um, notice this phrase, we add the number one to the last digit. That is very, very important. 
So we've got two numbers now. We've got the original number, 29, and we've got the tens complement of minus 12. Add them together, we get the answer 117. And remember, we've effectively added 100 to our minus 12. Uh, so therefore, my final answer can be achieved by following the following algorithm. If the last digit, that's the one on the left, is a 1, get rid of it. It is, so get rid of it. The answer is 17. Now, knocking off the last digit might seem like subtraction, but computers are very good at clearing out bits when they've been set. So this is a clearing out and knocking off. It is not a subtraction. Let's look at a second subtraction. Do the calculation 29 minus 33 in this case. We're going to follow this technique of the earlier slides, and we're going to try and work out the tens complement of minus 33. Uh, so basically, it's adding something to those numbers to bring up to 9. The something is two sixes, 66. And then we add 1 to it, the 9's complement plus 1. The answer is 67. Now add the 29 and the 67 together, we get 96. Apply the original algorithm from the previous calculation, knock off the 1, but there isn't 1. So this tells us the answer is negative. And to get the final answer, we have to take the tens complement of 96. OK, so what do we add to 96 to bring it up to 99? I add the 3 to the 6, and I don't have to add anything to the 9. So that's the 9's complement. And then I'm going to add 1 to it to bring it up to the 10's complement. And that gives me 3 plus 1 is 4. And we've already identified that this answer is negative. So my final solution is minus 4. 29 minus 33 equals minus 4, which is a correct answer. So in conclusion, we've actually found a technique called the tens complement technique of subtracting two numbers away from each other uh, when they're in the decimal number system or the deanery system. And we apply an algorithm. If the leading number is a one, remove it. That gives you the final solution. If it's not a one, we take the tens complement of the uh, number and add a minus sign to get the final solution. So that's the decimal system. Uh, just as a mathematical aside, let's do a, another calculation of 29.56 minus 12.25. Uh, the nines complement, we've got a, what do we add to the minus 12.25 to bring it up to nines? Five, I add a four, two, I add a seven, two, I add a seven, and eight to the one. The tens complement is given by adding a one to the last digit. So eight. 87.74 becomes 87.75. Add these two numbers together. My answer is 117.31. Apply the algorithm. If there's a one there, knock it off. And my final answer is 17.31, which is correct. Again, it's this technique of adding to the last digit. That's something to remember. OK, let's switch number system now. Let's go into our binary numbers. But the technique will be exactly the same. When we deal with deanery numbers, 10 based, we, we use 10 complement, but now we're in the binary world and we're going to use the twos complement. So if I want to do a calculation subtracting two binary numbers away from each other, then I'm going to have to take, calculate the twos complement of my second number. Remember earlier we did the nines complement, first of all, uh, that brought the number up to a 9 because we we're dealing with deanery. Uh, in this case, we ask the question, what do I have to add to my number to bring it up to the number 1? Now, because we're dealing with binary numbers, noughts and 1, the technique for answering this question is very simple. We flip the numbers because what do I add to a 1 to bring it up to a 1? I add naught to it. If I have a naught, what do I add to it to bring it up to 1? I had a 1 to it, basically, we flip the numbers. So my second number, I can flip all the digits. So all those zeros at the front become four ones. My two one become two zeros, and my two zeros become two one. That's what's called the ones complement. But we want the twos complement, and we get this by adding another one to the answer. OK, so uh, I end up with a twos complement of this number as being four ones zero one zero zero so i've got my original number 
and my second number in a twos complement format. And all that's left for me to do is to add these numbers together. Uh, remember, one and naught is naught, naught and naught is naught, and one and one is naught carry one. Again, look at the previous video where this is discussed. So here I've got my calculation. I apply the algorithm I had before. If there's a one in the last column, remove it, and there's your answer. We knock it off, leaving an answer of naught, 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 binary one, three noughts, binary one. And these two binary numbers I'm interested in is my original calculation. This is actually 29 minus 12 gives me answer of 17. Uh, let's have a look at another one very quickly. Um, we look at another number, which is basically 29 minus a second binary digit. That's the representation of minus 33. This is the calculation we had before. So again, I have my first number. I write that down. There's no problems with that. Uh, I take the two's complement of my second number. Those uh, noughts become one. The one becomes naught. And then I add one to it at the end of the day. OK, so I add my numbers together and I end up with uh, a whole load of ones with two zeros on the end. So we apply the same algorithm as we had before. If the digit on the left hand side, the last digit, is it a one? Knock it off and there's your answer. If it's not, we have to take the complement of the number and add a minus sign. So there isn't a, a number set in the last column. So therefore, I need to take the two's complement of this number. Remember the two's complement, which is flip absolutely everything and add one. So all those ones become zero. The two zeros on the end becomes one and a one. Add one to it. One plus one is one zero. So zero carry one. One plus one is one zero. Put the zero carry one. And there's my final answer of 29 minus 33 is equal to a minus 4 because 100 zero zero is 4. So here we have a nice technique for subtracting two numbers away from each other by using a technique that allows me to add numbers together to get my final solution. And this is the technique that computers use to subtract two numbers away from each other. That's the end of this particular tutorial. Uh, on the website there will be the, a copy of the slides I've used and also some additional resources used uh, that you can use to help answer TMA questions and get a better understanding of this particular concept. Thank you for listening.